Michael, midway through Air Venture 2014, there's a tremendously positive sense that the industry is fighting its way back. There's a lot of business being done here. Estimates actually are that Oshkosh may be up as much as 10%. That's all well and good, but there are huge obstacles in our future, things that have to be dealt with. In running uh, and, and, of course, promoting the concept of the Next Gen GA Fund, you're, you're dealing with Washington, you're dealing with the psychology of the political animal as well as high finance and all. Where do we stand right now with that program? I think that aircraft owners uh, today, and, and in particular um, uh, aircraft owners that are here at this show, have come to accept the fact that there is a mandate to upgrade their cockpits with advanced navigation and surveillance systems, and they're embracing it fully. The sense is that the economy's coming back, general aviation is coming back, the GA aircraft owners, I think, are in a mood to invest in their aircraft and invest in their future in this industry. So I think it's very positive. The FAA mandate has been around for several years, but we've only got five and a half years now to equip 157,000 general aviation aircraft in the United States. If you do the math, that's about 120 aircraft every single workday between now and January 1st, 2020. That leaves very little time or wiggle room for uncertainty. And I think that the FAA putting these loan guarantee programs out finally is going to be another big boost to try to keep this industry back on track with these new mandates. I do want to add that this is a good opportunity for GA aircraft owners to invest in their aircraft. ADSB is the next gen for general aviation. We're not waiting for any other systems. So I think what GA aircraft owners need to do now is take a hard look at their airplanes, decide how they're going to fulfill the mandate through whatever equipage. If they want the safest and most valuable equipment, then they should go for ADSB in and get full free traffic and weather information and get on with it. They'll find that their aircraft is worth more money later on. They'll find it easier to sell their airplane and they'll have more fun flying it. And finally, Michael, for the few aviators who have been caught in a cave in Botswana or something and may not be fully conversant with what the Next Gen GA Fund is all about, can you please summarize for our audience just what opportunities are available for, as a result of the fund? Well, the Next Gen GA Fund has been uh, put together uh, in partnership with the U.S. Congress uh, to uh, create a loan program that will issue low interest rate loans on very uh, simple terms. For example, we do not require taking a lien on the airplane or taking a mortgage on the airplane. And with so many tens of thousands of aircraft that have to be financed, it's not practical anyway to expect to see that type of financing. This whole financing program is designed and streamlined to make decisions on behalf of applicants within 24 hours. We have processing centers that can turn around and approve applications in that very quick time frame. You can throw into your financing package, not just the equipment, but also installation and certification costs, and perhaps other things that we can talk with them about when they're ready to uh, make the application. So it's a good program. It should accelerate and really help GA aircraft owners to step up. As you know, avionics costs for ADSB in and out are now today at record lows. I think that what we're going to see is if there's a big traffic jam of people who've delayed installations until say 2018 or even 2017, you might see prices go up because there's only so much capacity to get an FAA certified mechanic to put this equipment in place. So I think the name of the game now is let's get moving, let's get the whole industry behind these incentives that are available now, behind the lowest prices I've seen ever for GPS WAS and for color display systems. It's actually stunning. There's competition out there. Uh, there are vendors that want your business, so we're likely to see better and better deals. You've got access to very low interest rate uh, uh, loans and what's not to like. Aero TV is brought to you by the new TN70 from Trig Avionics combines a WASH GPS receiver and matching antenna in one convenient and affordable package. It's the smart way to achieve ADSB out compliance. Contact your approved Trig dealer now. Find out more at TrigAvionics.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, 
Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. The Evolution Flight Display System from Aspen Avionics delivers unique reliability and safety features to GA pilots and is truly the most flexible and affordable EFIS available. Aspen Avionics, a new way to look at avionics. The debate is no longer about upgrading GA aircraft with NextGen, it's about financing it. The NextGen GA Fund is about doing just that. Find out more at www.nextgenfund.com. 